I don't know. I don't think so. Hello, welcome to the Ramble Cast. No We're song. doing it live. There we go. I ha- we have none of us have been fired today, so not yet. Spoilers. Well, you, 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 had, you, you had Don Lemon, you had Tucker, Carl- Tucker Carlson, and I'm sure one of us is due. I, I thought right. a lot, I, I, a lot I of people from on. yeah, wasn't I mean those were the two that made the the headline, but actually a lot of people left uh, both. I think both of those organizations. So something is is up. That's for sure. Yeah, I was I was reading some crazy thing this morning that was like um, uh, Tucker Carlson's like producer <laughs> had some beef with him with how, and how they're kind of like you know handling shit in the show, and she has like ninety something recordings of. Thing, like sure. of like terrible shit happening on that show, so like it's, sure. mm. it'll all come out in the wash at some point. Maybe I mean, but it's just like it's just like how many times have we said fuck it, we'll do it live? I mean, it's just yeah. it's always those little things that they don't expect to go, yeah, you know that that will come out, yeah, yeah. And then um, Don well, Lemon, he's, he's a dick. He's like, a dick. He's, 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 he's a dumb just ass dick. <laughs> yeah, he, I mean, uh, he he's on the what the most liberal. I'm gonna see. I guess MSNBC, but. Yeah, for him to get fired from there, yeah, he, he really had to fuck up. Well, yeah. he, the thing is, it was, <laughs> a series, it was a series of fuck ups. So yeah. Just him thinking he's the smartest guy in the room, and you can't argue yeah. against him. And so it's like, dude, like, shut the fuck up. Like, you know, let the guy, your guest, say what he has to say, and stop being. A, you know, they're all that way. I mean, Hannity's that way, and the, the guy Turner Holt, I mean, they're I mean, all I, that way. But grant, granted, I, I, as far as I know, and I, I haven't done all the fact check, <laughs> but as far as I know, like. I don't think Don Lemon ever actually got on the air and fucking lied, but he was definitely a pompous ass, like on the air. Well, I mean, lie, but, you know, he didn't lie, but you can't you can't say women's or, women right. Have oh no, no, crime, no, no, no. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not defending that. I, for the record, I'm absolutely 100 percent not defending. Well, his I, I guess Chris is next. I, I was I was comparing and contrasting some of the reasons why fucker Carlson um, is likely out. He Carlson should have stuck with his bow tie. I think that's yeah. the. Uh, I, well, he should have stuck with Crossfire. That would have been a great show if they didn't fuck it up. <laughs> well, that, yeah. was, that was a good old John Stewart did that. <laughs> yeah, John Stewart fucking buried that show. Yeah, two thousand what five or six? I mean, it's yeah, ancient it was history now. Hey, yeah. hey yeah. I, I used I used to love Crossfire. I just like the fact it was that a great would, show, but but it, but it, they it would was yell at each other. Shit, though. Yeah, it was it was it was uh it was Jerry Springer. Yeah, on CNN. Yeah. I mean, I but it was fun to watch. I, I love watching people just scream at each other for no reason at all. For but entertainment. if you have, for those listening at home, if That's... you haven't seen the clip of, of John Stewart jumping on Crossfire and, and just eviscerating them both, <laughs> it was pretty great. Well, John Stewart is a pretty smart guy, so yeah, he's yeah. actually underrated. Yeah. Like, yeah, underratedly smart. He's very very smart dude. Yeah. He's he's pretty. I, I you seen that one where he, it's a clip where he's interviewing some some congressman and all oh, about the trans rights and stuff. About trans uh, rights, and he goes, "So what about you know gun violence?" He goes, "Yeah." So and he he goes, "So you're a fucking hypocrite." He I go, oh, you, "It was good." And the guy's like, "Wait, how am I going to offend this?" Uh, yeah. uh, why did, why did I agree to talk to John Stewart? <laughs> yeah. you're, like like if, if you agreed to go on John Stewart's show, like you're a Fucking idiot! If you're if you're in his opposing views, because he's just gonna bury you. Like he's he always like, does that. Saturday Night Live had a sketch I think with Martin Short going on sixty minutes against Mike Wallace. And yeah, he just, he, and, he, and he's just sweating, he's dri- sweating, he's dripping yeah, yeah. in sweat. And, you know, because Mike, you don't go against Mike Wallace on sixty minutes. There's right. just no. no way. Isn't he drinking too? You know, and then like, yeah, he, he reads back a quote. He says, like, "I didn't say, I never said that." You know, and it's like, yeah, I remember, yeah, yeah. that's an old, it, yeah, yeah. It's it's a way, it, it, but it's so it's it was true because you could see people in sixty. I haven't watched sixty minutes in forever, but you could what you you could see people actually going, "Why did yeah. you come on this fucking show? What what the fuck?" Well, what, what I think one one of the one of the the badass things that. I'm assuming Rupert Murdoch probably had a hand in this, yeah. right? But I think yeah. one of the savage things that he did was like nobody told him yeah, until ten minutes before. <laughs> well, like, yeah. like, like, so he signed off on Friday, and he was like, "Have a great weekend," and like nobody told him. It's like, "We'll see you on Monday." No, the fuck you won't. <laughs> so they didn't tell him he was canceled or uh, or fired. Well, the, the thing, they, all they, these, they, all they, these guys. I mean, you, you look at O'Reilly. You look at uh, who's the guy for CNN with his. 
brother was the governor of New York. Oh, yeah, Cuomo. Uh, Cuomo. Yeah. They they go on to make more money somewhere yeah. else. Well, I, mean, I don't know about that, though. Cuomo didn't go on to do shit. At least not well, yet. If he, he is, he's, no, one, I, no one hears I, about it. I thought he's doing something. I thought he was on some channel. Well, who some... knows? Right, right. So, I mean, I, even, even what's his name? We're doing it live. Uh, fucking... Yeah, Bill, Bill. O'Reilly. O'Reilly. Mm-hmm. Like he, he's on like some like fucking backwoods news channel. Yeah. Well, they, they basically the thing is is that the uh, the news networks are dying, and that's the thing yeah. is that uh, that's what uh, the speculation I've been reading about is that once they've made a name from themselves, they can kind of do their own thing. Especially like they could just be on Twitter from now on and make their own money off advertisement and things like advertising. that. Advertising. And John, uh, John, the retired guy, Newsmax has Cuomo. I think. I think that's what it is. Newsmax. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. No. Oh. Newsmax. Well, yeah. John, John, the retired guy would. Is know. The, only, the only place for Tucker to go would be if you want to go to network would be like was the One Nation News or whatever it is called. The, uh, you yeah. you would know. I don't know. <sighs> no, I don't he, know what it's on, called. He's on News Nation. News Nation. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I haven't watched the news. Exactly. Like, like what the so, fuck is News right. Nation? Yeah. <laughs> So, wait, what, I, my, what, my, my the thing is, the who's, thing is, who's with, on News Nation? Cuomo? The thing, the thing with Cuomo. Tucker Carlson, like nobody's talking about the seven hundred million dollars they had to pay out for their fucking election lies. Yeah, so the fucking tax what, right what, off what, the box. Yep. Now. Okay. Yeah. Well, to be to, to be fair though, they probably made billions off the lies. So I mean, well, the, again. Yeah. I don't think that's the reason why they fired him, though, because I don't think they could. No, it's not the it's of... not the reason why they fired him. Yeah, but nobody's fucking talking about it. Well, I mean, everybody's talking about this thing, right? I mean, I mean that's how well, the I mean, news cycle works. It's just on to the next what, thing. So yeah, exactly. Well, what, gets, we, what gets the, the headline? We've yeah. we've cut this baby loose, or whatever you want, metaphor well, you want to say. The, but it's, the, it's blood under the bridge. Did he get? Did he get a huge? Did he get a huge severance pay? I mean, oh yeah, huge. Lot. I think it's like seven hundred million or something, or whatever. You get a lot. Yeah. I'm not talking. Oh, about so basically stuff. enough for election lies. Okay. That's how much. See, I uh, think the I think the the the, uh, the election thing that they should have just let that go to trial. They shouldn't have settled. But the thing, that's the thing is that they couldn't have proven it. That's the thing. A lot of people wanted it to go to trial because I don't think they could have proven uh, that they lied. That they lied. That yeah. they that there was a defamation about. Their well, there, apparently, apparently, there's a ton of like, like there, audio there's a, there's evidence. at least seven hundred million dollars worth. We know that yeah. much, right? Yeah, I but mean, for, there's there's not four billion. There's not enough but that, to but buy that, Star but Wars. That's that's like me paying. That's like me paying a ten dollar fine, though, right? Right, exactly. For for a huge companies but like that. The most important news story yesterday was not the fact that two anchors got let go from their networks. The most important, I mean, that's the thing is like that you always know when whatever's the main, something else is happening, at least in my opinion. Mis- misdirection. Yeah, the misdirection. Because the most the important news story that happened yesterday was uh, Biden submitting the war resolution, war powers resolution to put soldiers, more soldiers in Africa and keep them there indefinitely. You know, so once again, we're well, and, well, and, and he and he submitted his bid for re-election on all the same right. one and, and also fired uh, Suzanne Rice. Yep. Really? I, I didn't yeah. hear any of this. Yeah. I mean, I, I saw I saw that he was being re-elected. He was going for re-election, but uh, God, I didn't hear I didn't even hear about this. Yeah. And they're not Big even going to have a, they're not even going to have a debate. You know, in the most of the Democratic Party uh, because yep. you know just like twenty twenty again, like you know the guy with dementia, they're not going to let get on stage <laughs> unless uh, his what unless Joe Biden go up there with him. Right. It was Jill. Yeah, Jill does all the talking. Yeah. <laughs> if I would, I know how Joe is going to answer that question. Let me let me answer for him. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know it. You know it's bad when Saturday Night Live is picking on the president. You know it's bad. <laughs> That's Am what I right? they do. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, they do it kind of now, but they Obama. Yeah. What's his name? Jay Farrow did Obama. I mean, oh, but, so yeah, did, uh... but but it wasn't it. Come on, it, it was it wasn't like with Clinton, right? Clinton's I mean, great though. Clinton, I, all the yeah, all the, the yeah, McDonald's yeah. and jogging and all the just the <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of things we're gonna got to tell Mrs. Clinton. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite ones they did with Clinton was uh I forget his name the actor who did it but it was it was when um the Gwyneth Paltrow movie and Michael Douglas called A Perfect Murder came out. <laughs> You know, and he's like, I went and watched this movie called, you know, A Perfect Murder. I studied. I brought my notepad. He goes, he did not get away with that murder. <laughs> you know, like, you know, like, and it was so good. Anyway, but back going back to like uh, 
Gerald Ford. That's when it first started with Chevy Chase doing Gerald Ford. Right. Didn't look anything like him, but he just kept falling and falling and falling, and which actually eventually hurt, uh, you know, Chevy Chase, those falls hurt his back. And that's a. No doubt. Got on some, yeah. Anyway. That's I all still, I got. I, you've heard me say that before. Like, I still to this day, if I can say I was told there'd be no math, I will yeah. use that quote. Well, I use it all the time. Uh, <laughs> I was told there'd be no math. <laughs> there's a there's a i mean we, we we typically don't sway the way of of politics on this show but there's just so much shit happening right now that's just absurd and it's coming to light like oh, yeah. the supreme court's fucked by the way you hear what happened with gorsuch the, the, the news mm-hmm. that came up on you know, gorsuch yeah uh, no. so, just, just yeah as, so just supposedly as, just as bad as what was was released about clarence Thomas. Yeah, so he he didn't disclose. Maybe maybe apparently. not as bad, but it's still it's really shady as. Fuck. Well, I, I I guarantee you in shady history, fuck all all these judges. It's all going to come out that it, it's just slowly leaking out, slowly yeah. leaking out that it's going to come out even with the well, the liberal the, ones. But the Clarence all, the all, Clarence Thomas thing was even that was brought to light way before. Um, well, they, like, they said he didn't break any laws. Right. I mean, I don't know how, but that they say he did it. That, when you uh, write the fucking laws, you're not going to break them. Like, I mean, that's that's the that, problem. Again, that's your they problem with right law. That's I know, but, that, I know, but they. <laughs> but that's your problem with the country. You have lawyers. They manipulate the fuck out of it. Who? How, how many of the politicians? Well, they used to be. How many politicians used to be lawyers? Right. All of them. I mean, ninety percent, or at least went but, to yeah. law school. But so went to so law school, so. Nick, Nick didn't hear the thing about Gorsuch, though. No, right? I didn't. So, no. so, so Gorsuch, you know, I think he didn't disclose this, but I think that it was it was like a few days before, or a few days after he was appointed, um, he sold a property for an undisclosed <laughs> amount, which I think it was then then disclosed well after the fact to this high like a high level lawyer in this in some law firm. He sold him his property or wherever the fuck it was. I don't even know where it was, but apparently the law firm that this lawyer fucking works for is notorious for working with the Supreme Court to get shit passed through. <laughs> and they've had uh, they've had like, <laughs> like 21 cases. It, dude. Like they've, 21 they've cases. Had 21 since, cases since, like, since Gorsuch took office. Right. Right. Uh, they have I, come I, before I, the I Supreme don't recall. Court. I don't yeah, recall. Like, fuck right uh, off, dudes. Like, like this I is think ridiculous. I think the, the fact that there's there's no like, oh, we don't need an ethics oversight. We're right. good here. Move along. John, Move John, along. John. It's just the broadcast. <laughs> yeah, I know for real. Well, well, we're, I, I we're talking say, about what's we'll, in the news, but I'm I, getting, we're, yeah. it's just, it is what it is. I, I, all, I actually got upset corrupt. this morning. I was I was watching the, this this thing uh, this morning, and I actually got pretty upset about it. So I, I do want to share it. I think it's, it's it's important to raise awareness around it. But I believe it was in Montana um, recently. There was an anti-trans um, bill, I believe, that was being shocking. Um, put through right shocking um because they're just targeting and, them left and right and there's a transgender member of the congressional body or, or whoever or whoever it is the state uh legislature it, in, in montana, montana and they were not letting them speak they they have actually voted to silence this individual this in their eleven thousand constituents for the remainder of the year so they cannot be heard in session Blue yeah, just my bl- fucking bl- mind. Let, land watching. of the fr- land of the free, and home of the fascists. Ain't right. I the, the trans thing is just like a a, a push button tar- target right now yeah. for for them to attack, and it's bullshit because, as I've said, you can pass all of the laws to suppress gays and trans. That doesn't necessarily mean that they don't exist. They've always existed. They've always existed. They fucking part of censored society. the representative. They censored them. So yeah. this representative who represents, I think, 11,000 constituents in Montana now no longer has a voice in that chamber for the remainder of the year, which blows my fucking mind. See, that should scare people. That should terrify the fuck out of people. I think there's a lot of so, people out there that be aware that's happening out there that, that just think, oh, well, this doesn't affect me. I don't know a trans person, so that's fine. And they just kind of separate themselves from the fact that, you know, I, I, I myself have known many trans p- people and I, yeah. I just 
from from all ages, all walks of life. Yep. I've had several students that have been trans, mm-hmm. and they're they're just like you and me. They're just normal people trying to come to terms well, with. Hold on a second. I, I'm not gonna say I'm normal. <laughs> I, well, I'm, I'm saying I'm not, that I'm not getting that I'm pressure they're put more, on me. They're more normal than Jack, and I've known Jack for a long time. All right, there you go. Um, okay. Um, but one of one of my students who I had for a very long time, um, they they were they were born this way. They were one of two twins. One twin's a boy. One twin's a, a boy. And very early on, one of those boys decided, that's not me. That's not who I identify as. And their their parents had a very difficult time with this. And they were more of an accepting family than than 90% of the families out there that, that, I mean, and they still had a hard time coming to terms with like, oh, I thought I had two twin boys. And now I have one that's that's fighting against that and wanting to do different things. Yeah. And now she's having to fight for her rights. And that family moved away from my state, thank fucking God, because our state is passing laws against trans. So, I don't fucking get it. you know, it's... I don't, I don't fucking get it. I'll never fucking understand that side she, of, the, of, of the argument. I'll never she, do it. No one's ever she identifies it. As, a, as, a, as a girl and will for the rest of her life. It's just good. Whatever happened in the womb, whatever, you know, that's that's how that person identifies and i just i just i, just, I don't to, understand to how people can wear on their people. sleeves of bigotry it's like, just it's stupid yeah but okay fine let's let's pass all of the laws we can to suppress trans but we're never going to address the elephant in the room which is holding a fucking ak-47 at the people but fuck. i'll take my comments offline and fuck john the retired guy <laughs> I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's that's entirely no, no. I'm just telling him. him. I'm just telling him. I'm not here to make the rules. I know you just live by them. So, anybody else get fired this week? Did you get fired? Uh, (laughs) No. uh, uh, Going back to lawyers in a way. So I finished Better Call Saul because the last season debuted on Netflix, and uh, it was pretty good. The uh, the last pretty, 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 good, pretty, yeah. pretty good. You know how, like in Breaking Bad, you have Mike, who, in my opinion, kind of got a raw deal on his death. Like, it's not a bad death, but it's just kind of like, oh, you know. But because you never know with Mike if he's, you know, what, you know, he's not a total bad guy, but he's not. He's, he's a good guy. He just works for the bad guys, you know. And then he dies. You know, Walter, you know, shoots him randomly while he's driving away, and he dies. And there's a character because Walter's a dick. Walter's a dick. Yeah, like Walter. Is 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 a weird character, but, but we but we all cheered for him. Yeah, I mean that that's what's interesting to me about TV and media, you know, because you always want to root for the main character, even if they're a bad guy. You always hope that they're going to turn it around, and that's what Better Call Saul is in a way. Is that the entire time you watch Better Call Saul, you think he's not a bad guy. It's you like know? watching the Trump administration. <laughs> he's not We're a tr- bad guy, but I just want to root for him. <laughs> We're trying to we're trying to get away from that, Matt. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right I don't there. think I don't right think there. that's being I don't think that's being said. I don't know. Okay. I, okay. I, could okay. Be, I could be wrong. Right. I could be wrong, Matt. I could be right. wrong, but um, I'm just speaking for the MAGA crowd out there that I just Okay. I I'm, okay. I'm just I don't know if we have any MAGAs in the uh, chat or MAGAs. or <laughs> MAGAs in the group here, even though okay, I do have a red background, but it's yeah, a dinosaur. You do, you went all red with the It's a dinosaur, okay. I assume I assume that that was a reference to Better Call Saul. But what was it, what's interesting about the ending of Better Call? So I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but you know there is a moment in the last episode where you're like, "That is so cool what they did." Uh, as a as a, it's not redemption at all, but it is in a way, and you're just kind of like, "That's an interesting take," you know. Uh, but yeah, the same. But as I say, like with Mike, there's another character throughout, you know, all of Better Call Saul that you're kind of like. Same thing. He works for the bad guys, but he's not a bad guy. And I kind of wanted a better death for that. Person. Well, I, a lot of shows have that where they don't get that. I mean, look at Frogert from Lost. Did he get? Did he get the death that he deserved? 
Because he's, he's such a main on. character. Yeah. Such a main character. <laughs> and, yeah. So flaming arrows. He gets you know, okay. I don't know. Well, Ch- well, it. even but, Charlie. I mean, like, did he have to die? Like, that's true. Yeah. Out, and then he could have shut it, and then we wouldn't have had the hand. Well, a lot of people point out that there'd been an air pocket in there, so he could have yeah. kept that's, breathing. So that's an interesting debate too with with Charlie's death, and that like I think a lot of people feel that that was like the the the, the peak of the show was that episode. I mean, there's definitely a lot of really great episodes past it, but like it's a it's a it's a turning of the curve, or you know, rounding the curve episode or where like well, nothing a lot was of people, the same after that well a lot of people didn't didn't accept his death i mean it was right. kind of like i mean yeah. just because evangeline lily wanted to get him off the show really I'm, you think because I'm, they had broken no, up at that point no, I, oh. i'm just i'm just oh, making that oh, oh <laughs> nice nice <laughs> i had I, I had my bow tie on i took it off now okay you know, I, i'm a different person so i i get you <laughs> i see what you did there <laughs> anyway now, Will Fry has something, but let's see. Hey, Chris. Well, and anyway. pass this, Will. Well, I, oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, but this good show. Like that. them. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. So, yeah, so there's, they're going to fucking expel her. Like, for fuck's sake, man. Like, <sighs> uh, John, the retired guy asks, have you seen the guests for Getting Lost Doctor- doc- documentary? Mm-hmm. Ralph's yeah, been Ralph's been posting lineup. a lot of. I have really I have I far. have it's, it's a very good lineup. So as long as Jay and Jack aren't on it, then it should. Be I okay. I don't see that happening. Fuck Montana. Know. What? I'm not going to Montana. We're talking about Lost. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm just I'm, I'm fucking go back. Okay. Actually, Montana is the setting for what's that show? I'm drawing a blank on the show. Yellowstone. Uh, Yellowstone. Oh, which yeah. just watching the show made me like. Is in I want to Wyoming. I yeah. I, I but There's I want to go. Tiny sliver in Montana. Sure. I, sure. I, 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 I want. I want. Like, when they show shots, I I want to go there. I just because it looks like a beautiful place to go to, except the bears and everything like that. I don't, don't want to fuck with bears. If you're a straight bears. white male, sure, probably a very safe place to go. Well, okay. I I got a 50-50 chance of getting through there. I guess I, I you know you never know. Anyway, um, Jack, I want to talk about telling us that you're not white. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not white. Actually, I'm sorry. Twenty three and me. It was either that, that or him not being I, straight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, twenty three and me <laughs> proved that I am just completely white. I can't can't lie. Um, I did want to talk about a show that all everyone on this in this group would like, and it's called Jury Duty. I've heard yeah. good things. With, with Polly Shore. Uh, um, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, it, it, I saw it suggested nice by someone. Reference. There by you the go. Way. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, I I I didn't hear you. You broke up. So I'm breaking up. Yeah, it was. Uh, There's a movie in the late '90s called uh, Jury Duty with Polly Shore. It was basically Twelve Angry yes. Men. But... Yeah, I've seen. I've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that the last movie Polly Shore made? Is that the last one made. It was the last one that, when he was Polly Shore. Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. Like stop wheezing the juice. Yeah. I mean, he he had a he had a run there for mm-hmm. for a couple of years. It's like because I, I mean, it was a bio biodome biodome like I mean all all the movies he made. Were, and were garbage. Man. In Sino Man, in the Army, and it called the Army or Armor Now, whatever, like uh, yeah, like that, yeah, Biodome, Jury Duty, like I like all those movies. They are absolutely garbage, but I love he, every. He one was of them. he was Adam Sandler before Adam Sandler. Yes. Yeah. That's a great way to describe it. He was yeah, yeah he yeah. was the pre Adam Sandler, but he his shtick didn't really adapt. Well, his well, he didn't have enough songs. Sandler. He didn't have the songs, you know. So. His mom owned the comedy store in L.A. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. I don't know what that means, but he, his mom did own the comedy store in L.A. I still remember him getting pissed at. It was when like the whole the dog thing was, you know. On the yeah, triumph. Carpet. Triumph. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then there was a kid too, or maybe yeah, you know, it was a kid. It was like the same time there was a kid that was doing it, and then triumph the dog. Wait, there's a him. kid that was trying to poop on things. Yeah, like he was like on the red carpet and Polly oh. Shore was on the red carpet and it was probably had been like five or six years since Polly had done a movie, you know, and like this kid just, cause like Polly probably thought, Oh, there's a kid doing, I'll, it'll be a safe place for me to go and talk. <laughs> it just rips in like a new asshole. Like, Aww. you're like, who the fuck are you? Like, you know, like, Oh, you're that guy. You know, and, and Polly mm-hmm. really takes it personally, you know, and comes back. It's like, you're a rude little kid. Like, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like you know, it, that's like my memory, one of my core memories of Polly Shore not being in a movie. It was like, damn, like he really got under Polly Shore's skin. 
You can mm-hmm. probably look it up. But. Well, to be fair, Polly Shore hadn't worked in six years. So. Yeah, that's just the way. I mean, like you look at look at uh, you know, Freddie got fingered. What was that guy's name? Oh, Tom, Tom Green. Green. Tom Green. Like Tom Green was kind of you know he had a, like a what, three year period there where he was in yeah. fucking everything, and then just psh, that was it. I still he married, think Drew, the, he married I still, Drew Mary, Barrymore, and then he broke her heart, and then that the rest is. History. I don't know how you break Drew Barrymore's heart. You know, I mean, like she's so. I know, I'm just, I'm just but, it out there. But the funniest thing that I thought he <laughs> ever did, Tom Green, uh, mm-hmm. is the the slut mobile where he he drew like he painted he he snuck in and he had his dad's car painted with like this like really erotic scene on the cover of the hood (laughs) and then his dad sees it in the morning and he's just like i can't take the car to work so he he like goes to the bus to just take the bus to work and then tom green drives the car up to the bus stop and he's like hey dad you didn't want to drive the car to work today and it's like i think it's like one woman eating another woman out, or something like that. Or I, I so it's remember. TikTok it before it was TikTok before TikTok. It was right. it was part of reality TV for yeah. sure. And by the way, I think TikTok is just another variation of reality TV. You know, yeah, because because even as us as TikTok watchers, like we always see stuff and we're like, that's fucking fake. Like, right, like we yeah. want our reality to be pure, you know. And when you see it faked, you're like, mm-hmm. "Fuck that bullshit." Well, the, wor- the worst part is I mean, when it's o- obvious, obviously fake, and has like oh, five, yeah. five I, million I, views. Like, you're like, "Going, come on!" That's how what can you tell those? Like, it's, it's one Jackson is like two weeks ago with a mom painting the thing, and she falls back mm-hmm. on the couch. Yep. Like, yeah, I go, oh, it's oh, just yeah. convenient that the couch oh, was the, there. The, the, and the it was like his mom with a nerf there gun. was yeah. plastic yeah. laid underneath the couch. Yeah, right. yeah. but right nothing. Off. But not on fake, the couch. Fake, fake, mm-hmm. fake. Not on the couch. Come on. And then you're gonna yeah. hold an entire pan in your hand. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Like, and then the scream was just ungodly. And then J- like, Jay sends it to us <laughs> like it's real. <laughs> weeks like, later, and we're like, "Come on, this come is on, this Jay, is, fake. This come on, is, dude." <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that with 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 all of like the different AI and like um, face swaps and stuff, it's getting more and more difficult. Well, I mean, it's it's still pretty obvious because with the content people are using, but I can see how people can and will oh, yeah. be manipulated by what oh. they think is real and what's not. It's oh, like there's, there's actually a, there's a, there was a video of Joe well, Biden. People are right, that's what I was about to say. Yeah, like there's, they're doing politicians that way. Yeah, like, no, they're yeah. doing this. Is, this is like, it, shit. Where it's, it's yeah. like it's him speaking at the UN, and he's like, you know mm-hmm. what? You know, I, I would never put down uh, Trump supporters. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, what was the word he used? Um, I forgot what it was. Ah, oh, shit! It was really funny, and like it was, it was, it was actually a really good joke. <laughs> like somebody wrote like a really good political joke, and it, which would cause major repercussions if someone watched that and was like, "Oh my God, Joe Biden said that shit." It's clearly not real, but like, it's getting pretty. <laughs> but darn it's, but meanwhile, good. the last president we had would say balls ass crazy shit, and we we're like, "Can you believe that he just said this?" Every day <laughs> under the Trump president, it was just like, "Can you believe what the president said today?" So we shouldn't be shocked that he's under investigation for right. this shit. But uh, at this time, we're going to take a commercial break. Now? Yeah, because I want to finish my review. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> we, we went into Bali Shore. You could, you and could have just finished your review. You didn't have to take a Well, because it's, co- it's coming up to the 30-minute mark. I, I just want to be professional here. I'm, I'm, I am the producer. Okay. Okay, producer. So I, I made a producer decision. Uh, mm-hmm. It's not often I per- it's not often I produce anymore. You don't. Okay? I you am don't. We don't even it. fucking start on time anymore. Well, because uh, they were, we're talking waiting before. On, we're waiting on you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! You could have just started. You know. You know. I'm I'm old now. I can't produce like I used to. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm so I'm saying. But at this time, we're taking a commercial break. <laughs> okay. All right. Jury duty. Is a show. I'm seriously, you would. It's the funniest show I've seen in years. Oh, it's comedy. Okay. All right. Prequel it's to... this is the, the here's the premise. <laughs> it's 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 jury duty, and only one guy is real. The rest are all actors. James Martin is oh. Martin. He's oh. in it, and he is fantastic. He's actually, I think, I, I he's like a lot like Michael Scott. 
Wait, so is it is it like reality TV then? If everyone else is actors and one she, guy is real, James, well, James only Martin. one guy, only Martin. one guy doesn't know that it's it's, oh, okay. it's fake. So he thinks it's really jury duty. So all the acting, all the how do they get these people? Do they just like? I mean, it they, seems kind of they, like a well they, well, they had an open audition. Uh, they, okay. they had a like a, on Craigslist, mm. and the thing is, uh, I drew a blank. What I was going to say? Oh, they it was supposed to be. It was it was based as filming. A jury, how they make the decisions, how they do all this stuff. So he, when they saw cameras, he wouldn't think anything of it. But they had hidden cameras. It, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm not kidding. There were times I'm, I, I woke Cindy up one, one night because I was laughing so hard at the damn show, because it's so fucking funny. And so if you've heard good things about it, it is. I mean, I guarantee you, everyone listening and everyone in our little group here. Well, even Matt, I think Matt, even you would laugh at it. Oh, okay, great. Because I'm what... not full of laughter. No, it's on Freebie. <laughs> Freebie. Free it's, it's what's the they, fuck it, station is that? Like, it, you, like... You, I, I, I got New, it's the same network on... as News Nation with Chris Cuomo. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, Cuo Chris Cuo Cuomo's not in on the joke. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what, what, it's you have to watch commercials. It's, yeah, I, I I get it on Amazon Prime. You well, it is Amazon free. Prime. Oh, okay, free it's on Amazon Prime. Yeah, it's free with commercials. So, I mean, uh, okay, freebie. I've watched a couple of things on freebie from Amazon Prime. I'm I'm t I'm I'm telling you, you I watched it. I think in two days, maybe three days. It's only eight episodes, but there are times I'm literally peeing my pants laughing. It's so, and Jane Martin, James Martin, is hilarious in it. He's he is so. Fucking funny. I know I'm saying his name wrong. How many pee bags would you give it? <laughs> I would out of five pee bags, I'd give it five. Oh I mean, wow. Oh. Five pee bags. It, okay. five I get I, I it's not often I say guarantee. I guarantee everyone I feel like the, I have uh, to uh, rate three this guys down. Have, like I'm three forget. people in this I liked loved it. Yeah. You three will love it. You will I'm, you will laugh your right. asses off. I'm legit old school writing it down because uh right. I, I I'll I'll own up to it. I'll if if you don't laugh, hey, you get your money back. Oh okay, okay cool. So I get Jack's but, uh Patreon but, but money. I, I did recognize one other actor. <laughs> I, I did recognize one other actor. Uh, I thought you were giving it to me to get my commercials free. I, I'm trying to, but you keep watching this freebie shit. <laughs> <laughs> It, no one the in the chat like has, themselves. No one in the chat has seen it. No one in the chat. Did they all leave because they're they're mad? They, yeah, they Matt they heard. Of, are they are they pissed I, at Montana? Fine, I'm telling you, they're pissed With at all, all, all the love. all the all the crap going on today. We all need a good laugh. This show is funny. Get your fleevies down at freebie. <laughs> I don't like know. Said, uh, James Martin. Martin. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen. I guess Thirty Rock. He was in. James in, Marsden. He played James Cyclops Marsden. in the Marsden. X Men. No, Marsden. Like Marsden. Oh. Planet, the, the planet. Then Den. Planet, and then Westworld. James, and then James Westworld. Pluto. <laughs> he, Jack would know him from from Westworld. Um, West, yes, I've, Westworld. I've recently uh, been. I've recently been rewatching the X Men movies with my kids. Mm -hmm. Totally out of order. Oh yeah, um, Cyclops. He's an X Men too, right? Yeah, he's Cyclops. Yeah. Because because they mentioned they mentioned it. It, Cyclops. He is. He makes. I don't. I can't decide who's the funniest. Sherry goes. I've not seen it, but I've put it in my queue based on your recommendation, Jack. I'm telling you. If you don't I'm like it, it, you don't have not it. just if in my like queue. It, I'm putting it in my TV. Yeah, there you go. If you don't like it, you don't have a sense of humor. I'm calling you out. Wow. It's it's, it's that. Even Nick, you're going to like it. I'm going to listen to like 10 uh, Cure albums no, that, back to back and then claim. watch that show. <laughs> if I like it, God. I mean, there's there's a part with a giant turd. That's just oh. <laughs> what was he in before X-Men that got him popular? I'm trying to remember. It was like a teen show. Oh, huh. He was in The Notebook, know. according that's to that. the show. Mm. He was in The Notebook. Oh. So the notebooks. It, what, what's, what's his name again? First X Men. Marsden. James Marsden. 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 Uh, he's Marsden. I never Marsden. Watched that he's Marsden. like he's like the next generation's Rob Lowe, and then he just doesn't age, you know. Ever. He yeah. he looks. Like he, do, he 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 doesn't age, and again, it, he's he, he's hilarious in this. this I, I, there's this. Okay, can I just tell one scene? Sure. You're gonna. I mean, I'm not gonna laugh now. <laughs> yeah. 
there's we a, see there's that a, scene, we'll be like, this is the one Jack spooled or something. There's Fuck, a scene where like him, him and the alternate an African American. They're both standing, and James Marston's talking about how it, how how wrong it is to be an alternate. They don't take basically he's going on and on how he's pitting himself for being an alternate. So he turns to the other guy, and goes, "Have you ever felt this?" <laughs> And the look on the guy's face <laughs> is so fucking funny. He's like, the fuck are you talking about? But that's how Marston is the whole, he's just clueless. To what, that's why I say he's like Michael Scott. He's just, oh. he, he just thinks he's larger than life. He shouldn't have to mm. be doing it. it. It's, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. Has anyone, I, I, yeah. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get Cindy to watch it. So I have an excuse to watch it again. Has anyone uh, watched Shrinking yet? Never yeah, I mentioned it no. um, like a month ago or so. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, he's good. Cindy and I are going to watch it. We're just waiting I'm, for I'm, Chris I'm to about, recommend it. I'm about more than halfway through. Been watching it with my wife. It's it's been a she she actually like yeah. I mean it's it's got Jack, some it's shrinking. Yeah, it's on Apple. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I, will, I, I recommend, I, I recommend you watch shrinking. Drinking. All right, thank you. Thanks for calling the show. To me, though, it's just every episode is just even. Like it's not like there's no like one peak episode and then a down episode. Like they're mm -hmm. all just kind of just a, it's just a steady show. Yeah, they're characters going through life together. Yeah, yeah, it's good though. So. I mean, you know, it's different. I definitely, I, yeah, I did. Maybe you, maybe you missed out on that week because uh, I did talk about it. That the raw, if you got into the raw dog episode where like Harrison, <laughs> Harrison Ford's best joke ever. I I'm not sure if I've got to the raw dog moment, um, okay. but yeah. <laughs> He is surprisingly he's, really good in this he's role. Good. He's because good in the role. And he begs for this role, apparently. It doesn't it doesn't feel like Harrison Ford. We told no. that story in the show, I think, right? Yeah. How we yeah. begged for this role. He, yeah. yeah. Because, he's uh, funny in nineteen twenty three in Montana. Fuck Montana. Montana. <laughs> uh yeah, because like apparently he got sent the script and he called mm. up uh the main actor that's in yeah. shrinking. And he didn't answer the call. Yeah. No, 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 no. It, it was. It was. He was, was told. God. He was he told. Was told. Yeah, he was that, told. That he was no. like Harrison Ford is going to call you. Yeah, no, I heard this Brett, on the interview. It was I heard it. Goldstein, Roy Kent from Ted Lasso. Okay, yes. that's yeah. So he's he's the writer of the show. Right, Trinket. right. He he had this. The, he had the show. So there's a lot of fuck off lines. <laughs> and 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 um, Harrison Ford was calling Brett Goldstein. And Brett Goldstein ignored it because he didn't recognize yeah. the number. I, I heard it. Right. I, I heard. And then that it five was, minutes later, it. Brett Goldstein's uh, uh, manager call is like, "Don't yeah. ever fucking not, not pick up answer. the phone yeah. when <laughs> Harrison Ford yeah. is calling you." That's <laughs> right. Yeah. No, I, I swear, I swear, it was the, the main that, guy. I, no, I think no, I, 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 Chris I, I watched. Right. I'm I watched, sure Chris I watched an interview yeah. with Brett Goldstein telling. Yeah, me Yeah, I saw. I saw I, I the same interview. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'm getting the the Conan interview wrong, but he was on Conan. Um, Conan? Uh, no, Jason no, no. Siegel? Jason Siegel was on Conan, and I listened to an interview, and Jason Siegel was talking about it as though like this yeah. happened to him, mm. and that that he had he had been told Harrison Ford is. Oh. My I accidentally muted myself, but um. He was told by his manager that Harrison Ford was going to call him. Oh. You better answer the phone, and then he didn't answer it, and then then he was told that same thing. So I'm I'm not sure. I had the same. Chris, do your job. I, Look it up. <laughs> I, I, I I saw the same interview. I, I listened. I listened to two. I listened to Conan on Mondays because he usually has. I was his, I was his, fuzzy on the on because I knew I heard the story, but when yeah. Chris started telling the story, I remember seeing that because fuck off. Fuck off! Because well, that's when we. I said, okay, I want to watch it now. I know he's he's writing it. He's he's in right. You're, no, you're, it's it's it's, and I think the great thing that I've enjoyed about the show is that it has subtle humor. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hit you over the head where like mm -hmm. this is the part to laugh at, loud at. Right. I mean, and, I mean, to be fair, be it's co-created by both right. Goldstein both and Jason Siegel, so they could be sharing the same unified story. They could be sharing the same sense. unified story. I remember Jason Siegel having this interview with Conan because I'm driving to work, listening to my podcast, and I'm just like finding it to be hilarious. Also, yeah. Jason Siegel in that same interview talks about forgetting Sarah Marshall and how he literally did this whole naked breakup thing that happens in that movie. Like that literally happened to him. Oh, really? Where he was going to 
he was waiting for this girl to get back. Like they had been separated, not separated, but like they were kind of a long distance relationship and she was coming back and he, he was like, I'm going to surprise her. I'm going to be naked. I'm going to be ready for her. And then, um, she shows up and, and then proceeds to break up with him. Oh. So, and then he wrote that in, into the, yeah. so. I mean, I think yeah. a lot of, in, in all scripts, like the, the scenes that really hit are stuff that really happened because it's, it's true. That's, that's what makes it funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you should be at that episode that Matt threw halfway through. Uh, basically, the, the 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 woman that was in um, a Drew Carey show and uh, Scrubs, mm-hmm. uh, she uh, was supposed to be meeting Harrison Ford in the park or or, or something like that. He's talking to uh, the daughter, and he's like, "She's been raw dogging me lately." <laughs> like she's just looking at him like, "I don't think you know what that means." <laughs> you know, like, and, uh, and, and, and then you know he keeps saying it, and then finally they tell him. You know later on, it's like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> it's a good. Thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to watch. It's on my list of things to watch. Yeah, it's nice. Um, yeah, and then you know Barry Barry's back for its last yes. season. Did you see the most recent episode? No, I've only watched the first and the half Two. of the second episode. Okay. Okay, there's, so I'm, yeah. There's I'm probably gonna w- I'm probably gonna wait and binge it. Okay. I believe there's three episodes out. Oh my gosh. There is a scene. I don't want to spoil anything, but there is a you scene just, and a moment me. in this third episode that I just was laugh out loud. It's it's intense, but it's funny, and it just I mean, when it happens, you'll know. Because uh, the characters and the actors in that moment, you're like, oh, my gosh, that's that person, <laughs> you know, and you're just kind of I don't know. It just it made me smile. It made me laugh. And uh, and that's not something usually that happens with Barry because Barry is a dark comedy right. in that way. But there are some twists and turns that happen in this third episode that just I mean, I, I love that show. Uh, it's it's dark. Yeah. But the directions that they keep pushing these characters in, and especially like in this season, and knowing that this season is their last season as well. It's the last one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it? So, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's only four seasons? Four seasons. Four. Yep. Lasso's, I, I, I Lasso's only going to be three. Yeah, yeah I know. I, I, yeah. I know. I, I think that that's the best. I think in, in today's world, if you want to rewatch something and really enjoy it, you know, because that's what people do. You can, I can rewatch or stream it again really easily. Is that it needs to be no more than six seasons. Because uh, that's yeah. where you pass that threshold of like, fuck, it's a chore now yep. to watch it. Yep. And I think you'll bury, you can watch all four, like boom, 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 like no big deal. Uh, and I think that's the new formula from for the foreseeable future. Uh, yeah. Also, I think I think you lose, I mean, it loses its steam. I mean, you, you had Seinfeld, we talked about this before, Seinfeld, Cheers, yeah. could have kept going a few more years, but you know, who knows? I mean, they just... But, but a lot of shows go on far too long. And you're like going, Friends, Friends, Friends. Yeah. Friend, I, I mean, I think Friends peaked at the end of four, season four. You know, like there's definitely good episodes past mm-hmm. it, but I think you know, as as far as the story arcs, it ends yeah. uh, in London when Ross is you know supposed to be marrying Emily. And if you want to like, the show, to right me, there, to me, have. the to me Chandler and Monica, their yeah. relationship is so much more important than Ross and Rachel. And, mm-hmm. the, and then where it loses me is the whole, like, well, we got to get Ross and Rachel back together. And right. yeah, I just, I don't know. I just, at that they, point, they had their, one they too had many, their, they had the time. It's oh, one yeah. too many backflips. Like a show can do a backflip. You can well, jump over a shark, you know, <laughs> well, it's but, just like in, in that 70s show, like, you know, they get going for so long. And mm-hmm. I think, uh, uh, in the 80s. De- Deborah, uh, the, the mom, you know, when, Jackie, you know, starts dating all the other guys past Kelso. She's yeah. like, "Oh my God, you people switch partners more than square dancers." You know, it's like <laughs> that was a perfect joke for a show like that because it's just mm-hmm. like, yes, like what else can we do? Yeah, Sherry makes a good point. It's hard to keep good actors when there's no end in sight, mm-hmm. which is true unless they get paid a lot. But even then, mm-hmm. I mean, I, th- I think to me, I would get as an actor, I'd be bored playing the same character over and over again. Of course, though, you know, if, you, if you're making, you know, as on resi- residuals afterwards, you're making still make you're not even working anymore. You're still making 10 million, 20 or like Seinfeld's <laughs> making 100 million a year. I mean, OK, 
I could do it. Depending think, on well, depending on how you live you want, as an which, actor. Yeah, and what you, what you want your career to be. Because like, I don't blame a young actor for wanting to get off the show if you really want to do something else. Like, George Clooney. Well, I mean, look at look at Johnny Depp. Like, he could have done Twenty One Jump Street and been perfectly fine, but no, he wanted to do other things, and I don't blame him for that. Well, he wanted. He wanted. He, he, well, he. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? He, he wanted. <laughs> hmm. He wanted to act. Yeah. He yeah. was and an he, actor. Who, well, he does, he does bizarre roles, right? And he went down. Yeah, he went into doing Edward Scissorhands. Like that was mm -hmm. a like, fucking crazy ass right. movie. Um, but uh, back, back to the point about, about keeping keeping actors for you know for a long time, like which is actually why I'm a little bit nervous. I I'm hearing rumors that Ted Lasso is getting another season. What? Well, okay. Go I ahead. thought this season was the last. They they kept saying that the third would be the last, yeah, but, but I, it yeah. sounds like they're negotiating to open open up to season four. And I mean, I get it. I mean, it, it, I think that's just one of those moves Cash where, like, cow. if you look at like Apple's probably like, hey, this is the most popular fucking show in the face of the land. They're probably just throwing money at them. I wouldn't be right. surprised. Or, but like, I hope to that end like i mm. hope that it doesn't cheapen the show right. i hope it doesn't let it like take its foot off the gas Ex -ex especially yeah. if they thought this was going to be the last season right 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 yeah, yeah. It, i mean oh. look what happened look what happened with fringe season four they thought okay we're not gonna get picked up for a fifth season God, fringe went and, off the and, fucking fringe is on a whole other dude. level that's <laughs> apples it's, and oranges it's, it's, it's like well, kiwis well, i'm and saying bananas, that dude. but season like, four is absolutely terrible like and season five they come back to and apricots but i'm saying like, what i'm saying is they <sighs> didn't they thought they're gonna cancel it. the season sucked mm -hmm. season five it comes back and it ends pretty good mm -hmm. but yeah Anyway, but I, like yeah, I mean, with but with lost, I'm mean, not lost. Jesus Christ, I don't want to talk about lost. But with Ted, la with la with Ted Lasso, it's like Ted lost. Ted lost. <laughs> Ted Lasso. Um, with my, lost my, my my Alexis in LA. Um, you know, but like I just hope it doesn't go down the road of like shit. Yeah, you know what? Because I mean, they they built something so fucking good. Like I want to see it go out on top. And, and the last like, episode, Matt Matt said it was really good. Yeah, this last one was good. It yeah. was excellent, right? I was, I was, I, was I, going, I, 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 I haven't, I'm not caught up yet. Okay, so, I, I, I won't, I won't spoil you, but it was like I go, oh my god, this episode, this episode's nearly perfect, and you can see how they they could be wrapping it up, right? Yeah, right. I, so, I don't want to spoil I, I, the I, one person that hasn't fucking seen the show. You work for the goddamn company, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and the like, new episode just dropped. I got to miss. I mean, it, what the hell, man? Uh, ah. Hey, I did see Marvel. I, 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 I did Jackson. That's true. Sorry, John. Whoa, 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 whoa! You told us that last week. I don't want to hear it again. Okay. <laughs> told did us I? what? Yeah, you told us about Mario Brothers last week. Oh, uh, oh I yeah. sorry. Was, uh, yeah, he but you know, like I don't, I don't know about you guys. Like I, you know, see, as Ted Lasso, like season one and two are, are fucking awesome, and this season it has not gripped me yet. Like to the point where I'm like, this is awesome yet. I, I I'm still waiting for them to drop whatever needs to drop to like, make me go like, yes. Um, I think one, because I, I felt Ted Lasso's character has not progressed at all this season. I, I you know, like you would think at this point he would at least learn the fucking game of football. Uh, well, <laughs> it's, it, you're not wrong, Nick. Like, I, yeah. but but they also make. I, I think that's part of the script because they're. De I mean, I have, I'm two episodes behind, I think, but like, they're definitely writing it in heavy that he doesn't know football. Right. Like they've made it a point to have it be a part of many conversations well, it, that he doesn't it's know soccer. football. It's soccer. Well, whatever. Like, but it's almost as if they're, they're definitely like lining something up for him to be move along now. All right. right? I'm, like I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to say anything. Okay. Don't say anything. I, I mean, say anything. like, I, I still think it's a great show. I think it'll go down yeah. as a great show. Uh, it's, it's a show that I think a lot of people needed, you know, like, and then it's not, yeah. it's, 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 but it's, it's Ted, La well, Ted it's, Lasso's it, yeah. it, the head coach. He's managing the people, not the game. Right. Right, technically, I mean, he's 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 cheering people. I mean, he's he's there to make people's lives better, to believe in themselves. Am I right? So, that's uh, that's his job. But I won't say anything. Also, right. uh, Trent, uh, at the very end of this last episode on the bus when they're riding, Trent Trent's wearing Trent is wearing. I uh, like a shit. Trent is wearing uh, uh, my favorite. It's not really a spoiler. It's not a spoiler at all, my Chris. <laughs> He's wearing a T-shirt with my favorite band on it. One of my favorite bands. I, I love how Chris is thinking that's a spoiler. <laughs> it, it, 
that was one nice fucking bus, wasn't it? It is a nice bus. Come on, Chris. It was a, it was a nice bus. Chris, at no point did we discuss any and when Ted, when when Ted I was saying that was coach, a t-shirt of my favorite band. That's, that's all I was saying. When, uh, when Ted, <laughs> hey, like, Ted can't never be when, too safe. <laughs> I can't yeah. believe when Ted Lasso killed Coach, that was just a yeah, right. of his age. just full of rage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I have really haven't watched anything different since last week, but I mean, I'm I'm still I'm going to double down, triple down. I, I I finished season two. I've started season three of Superman and Lois, and I can't oh. recommend it enough. Nick, I know you weren't here last week, but I, I talked a little bit yeah. about it. Um, I I went away from watching it when it was first airing, and then kind of took a break with it, and I got back to it this uh, last couple months. Um, but, uh, the show is, the show is really well done. It's, it's, it's probably my favorite iteration of, of, um, of Superman of recent times. Like I think they did a really, really good job with the show. I'm on season three now though, which means I can't watch it on HBO max because it, it starts on CW then goes to HBO max. Um, if anyone who's ever watched anything in the CW app, it is awful. Like we're used to (laughs) just tons of commercials. Uh, so watching season two on HBO Max was actually was was quite good uh, to do that. But um, Matt, do you know you're muted? Okay. Yeah, he's, he's eating. eating. He's eating. Um, I I would recommend it again. Um, anybody who's a fan of Superman, like it, it, he's he's a he's a great Superman. It's a great story. Um, oh, those I are the highly recommend. Chips, right. No, that's Skinny Pop. That's Skinny Pop. That's, that's what I was thinking of. Oh, he's just eating um, oh, yeah, but, uh, yeah. yeah but yeah, check it out because they do a really good job. Really weird. Uh, they recast the character in between season two and three, which is a little bit jarring, but you kind of get past it pretty quickly. But other than that, great show. Speaking Love of, it. You know, they're renaming HBO Max just Max now because uh, Discovery Plus or whatever and HBO merged. And yeah, isn't that weird? It's just a little stri- sl- slightly weird for me because, like, when I think Max, I think Cinemax, not. Yeah. Uh, or Skinamax. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Come on, say it how it's supposed to be said. Skinamax. But uh, yeah. Oh, maximum of, uh, pleasure. Just speaking of HBO, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with South Park, but they've had some really good no. episodes lately. So uh, there's one a couple, I mean, a month ago or so, where the uh, Randy Marsh buys a Japanese toilet, and it's uh, it's kind of like when Chris and I discovered the bidet. You know, and and so the Japanese toilet does everything for you, and it's you know, it's, it's one of those that that's good. And then the the not the latest episode, but the one before that one is probably one of the best ones. It's all about Chat GPT, mm. and uh, and so like the first, it opens up with all the girls on South Park going like, "Oh my god, he wrote me the cutest text message," you know, and like all the girls get jealous, and so they start giving all the boys crap, and like, "Why don't you write me text messages like this?" And so all the boys go to this one guy's. Like, Dude, what the fuck? Like, you know, like, blah, blah, you know, and he's like, Oh, I don't even read those. I just copy and paste in the chat GPT, and then it gives me the perfect response. <laughs> you know, and it's just all this. <laughs> it's it's you know how to handle the relationship of like, yeah, bullshit, 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 poppy paste. There you go. <laughs> it's it's a good <laughs> episode. I haven't seen uh, South Park in forever. I mean, they yeah. always continually usually knock it out of the park, you know, every because they're just I saw, I saw I saw something on TikTok. It was uh Carmen, you, he wanted to use the Women's bathroom. So he he said, "I'm right. I see myself as a, as a girl." So they're like, "Go to the he's on there." Mm. <laughs> he's just dro- oh, there's I just dropped one. Oh. All, all the girls run out <laughs> screaming because he's just blowing ass. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Well, that, and that's I think is that episode too. They ended up making him a you know it's a, a unisex bathroom, but it's just for him. You know, originally it's just for him, and then he, he, it's all like fancy and decorated and all this stuff. And then someone else tries to use it. He's like, <laughs> 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 yeah. that's an old episode, but it's a good one. Oh, is it old? Okay, I just saw it on TikTok because that's where I get most of my news now. So <laughs> that's a dangerous <laughs> thing. <laughs> No one's been fired from TikTok, okay? That I know yeah, of. Yeah, nobody, nobody has ever nobody, been fired. Nobody, TikTok. no, no. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, is that it? We're, we're running out of steam here. No, I'm just trying to think of stuff to say because, like, all I've yeah, been that, watching is Better Call Saul and working because I've been working like a motherfucker. Yeah, that's, mm, uh, yeah. Is it, is it cold where you got? Because I, I saw that it, we're all kind of wearing. I mean, well, it's it, the it, end, it's the end of April and it's it's cold here. Yeah, I mean it's it's been nice the last couple of days. It's been the sixties, but then it, it uh, we had a, a front come through and we got a, probably an inch of hail. 
Oh, um, really? Got a shit ton of hail today. Uh, nothing big, but just enough. And so it dropped it from, you know, to, it probably dropped it 25 degrees within a couple of hours. And so I, I kind of got the chills. So I was like, okay, I need to put my coat on. Yeah. It's just crazy. I, mean, I, I love it because it saves on the uh, electric bill. Oh, absolutely. Right. Yeah. But man, it was, it was, it got, God damn, it got cold. Yeah, I love my, yeah, it's, my, I mean, my. It's been pretty cold and shitty here for a while. We had like one run of like an eighty degree or nine, almost a ninety degree day. I'd rather be cold than hot. Down to 50s. Honestly, me too. Me too. I, 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 I agree. Just cold any, you know, nine, ten. nine out of ten times. Cold. Yeah. Concur. Concur. I can, mm-hmm. I can always, I can always take. I, I, yeah, can always take I a know. layer off. Exactly. You know, or put once a layer you, on. Once you're hot and miserable, there's not a damn no. thing you can do. Once your this is like the sweat, oldest man fucked. conversation I think I've ever been a part of. By the way. You can always take layers off there, Nick. You know, <laughs> I, you I, I do recognize that, that we should always be freight grateful for having been cool weather. Once well, you yeah. get that swamp taint, you ain't going yeah. anywhere. Your balls get all squishy, if squashy. It, if it gets too cold, I can put another layer on top. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but let the, not, let the balls he's... work. Yeah, <laughs> and then this where Jack goes. Yeah, I, I, I sat on, I sat on my balls so. the other day. Yeah, I, Dude, I, did I, I send I, you guys a video? Did I send you guys a fucking video I saw on TikTok today? But by <laughs> It's this dude who sits down on like he's, he's got a panel on a stage and he sits down and crosses his legs and the camera's on him when he does it and he fucking oh, pinched a nut. Uh, I, I, and like, I've seen that and like guy. The, the look, the, the, the look on his mm. face. He's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> come on, let, let, let's Fine. be honest. I, I I know it's happened to Chris because he's talked yeah. about oh, it. Dude. it, it yeah, it has ha- has happened to me. There is no worse fucking pain in the world <laughs> than sitting on your own balls. I'm sorry, there is. <laughs> but, it, but this- I, I, I'm, I'm kidding. You can't I, hide did, it. Can someone check their phone? Did I send it to you this morning? Because I was no, but I have seen it. It has popped up in my thread. I, fucking I, I don't think I don't. You, you sent us two boring ones, but uh, oh, somehow, Christ. somehow, it's appeared in my TikTok thread, but not these guys. Oh I my wait. god! No, I, 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 I've seen it. I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, so he wait knows until next week when I'm half the world away and I can start sending you guys stuff while you're sleeping. Well, yeah, that's right. why I have our chat oh John moving. John John says right. in the chat John geez, so, so, dude, so this concept kind of came apart um, we're on the rooftop of uh, what the fuck's at hotel um, uh, Hyatt the the the, 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 the uh, Red Roof Inn Hyatt in San Regency. Diego the uh, is it the Regency Hyatt yeah, yeah. so Mary we're hanging on the fire and I, was it was it Chris or was it actually it might have been Tim I think it was you're Tim. Chris. You are Chris. No, Chris Cole. The Chris. <laughs> for, I'm not the only for, one. But for this exercise, he's not Chris. <laughs> okay. Okay. Got it. So, anyways, it. so following. we're telling the story, and, and I, I think Tim came up with the term that, like, when you sit in your nuts, um, it's called nut eleven because of the pain <laughs> oh, you'll never yeah. forget. <laughs> <laughs> you'll never forget. Nut eleven. That is perfect. Nut eleven, because I, 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 I've actually done it. I've actually done it twice. It just, I'm telling you. I would love to see a ripoff bumper sticker that's done exactly like the same patriotic. Never forget. Never, you know. Always remember to have something that says "Never forget Nut eleven. Yeah, yeah, that would be perfect. And then the uh, and, 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 and have and the two towers be like two balls. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, I, somehow I, I, you make I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not I'm not driving around with that. <laughs> All right. So what? so hold Are on you a second. saying that it's too soon, Jack? This 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 has to yes. be uh, shared here. So <laughs> I, I I did find the video in question. Um <laughs> my Google Back search was the guy on stage sits on his nuts. <laughs> That's the name of the video. Um so if you could pull that up, Jack. Yeah, I already have it up there. Ready? In, <laughs> it's the best. Here it goes. It's definitely ah! hot here because the guy next to him is like, like, why? Ah! 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 Like, I felt that sitting over here. <laughs> <laughs> I like the other person in the audience just like filming in a different manner. Everybody's filming in that, that video. It's it's it, I'm telling you, <laughs> nothing worse in the world. I mean, it's just uh, it's painful <laughs> because it comes out of nowhere. I, I mean, it just I, it, it's. I mean, am I right, Chris? It oh, I, I've done crazy. it once, and I'll fucking it's, never do it again. I'll I, like, I've, I've done I've done it twice, and it was like the first time. I was like, "Who shot me? What the yeah. fuck?" 
I go it's like a commercial break. Sniper. Just comes out I'm, of nowhere. Because I'm, la- like, I'm laying on the ground. <laughs> that can almost be a versus. Like, what's the worst pain? Like, sitting on your testicles, pulling a nose hair. Oh. Uh, pregnancy. Like, Sorry. No. Pregnancy is going <laughs> to. For a dude. Here, here, for I'm going to tell you why. Oh, but you're just going to say for a dude. We're just going to exclude all of No, no. I'll say this even Oh, for fuck's sake. You can't fucking win with you, Matt. I will say this. Why, yeah. why sitting on your balls is worse than pregnancy. First, you know you're going to have the baby. Second, they have classes on it. They have classes on how to take the pain away, right? They give it an epidural. There's there's different things. When you sit on your balls, there's no there's no there's no conversation. Yeah. There's there's no class. Yeah. You, you just out of out of out of kids. It, yeah, out of nowhere, you just feel the worst pain Jack, you've ever Jack felt is in your totally life. Tucker Carl seeing this this entirely. <laughs> Am I fucking right? Am I right? Where, where I don't necessarily align with Jack's perspective <laughs> on childbirth, um, I will say it is one of the most excruciating moments of my lifetime. I don't think I've ever shit myself when I've sat on my balls, so I'm just going to put that out there. Or I've never ripped myself. Well, again, you have a bunch. Oh, of you did the whole life. Matt, 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 have you, Matt, have you shit yourself lately? I'm just saying, like, no, pregnancy. no, Matt, Matt's, Matt, Matt, Matt's, Matt's, Matt, Matt's trying to uh, uh, cater to the those who have more pain. I'm not them. catering to fucking shit. I'm just saying that pregnancy. Okay, we're just well, talking about I, men. Pain. Wait, 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 no, wait. When I was, I'm not trying to disqualify I, anyone from the conversation, but we're trying. When, to, have you, have like, you ever, have you ever sat on your balls? myself are you asking me this i'm asking you that just i've owned up to it yeah, everyone's, I, had, everyone's had testicle pain. yeah everybody's had testicle no, holes but, but it's but it's different when it's it's different than when someone kicks you in the balls because you see the kick coming right when you sit on your ball you there's there's no warning there's no <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. are it we just arguing about happens. something like, no i'm just i'm just saying it you're saying the pain i'm telling you the pain is worse than again because there's no okay, class. I've never had, I've never had, and 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 I will, I will tell you one of the worst ball pains that I've ever had. <laughs> I will. It's not like I've never humiliated myself on this fucking show ever before, or I will never again. But w- it's the '80s, traveling back in time. I'm at a wedding reception, <laughs> okay, <laughs> and. And I'm not mansplaining childbirth. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even step through what childbirth is like. I'm just saying there's some shit that goes down. Oh, yeah, you it, don't it, even. Fucking I'm not. Know hey, until hey, you. I, I, it. I'm, not like, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying it's not bad. Yeah, but I'm saying at least you have you have some heads up about it. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not going to share the most embarrassing. Thing. No, share the most embarrassing. No, thing. I'm not. I'm no, not. you. It's hey, sober. hey. The time brought, has passed. You brought it up. Okay, so it's the it's the 80s. <laughs> it's like I'm at I'm at another house, and you know how like they have clotheslines and they're shaped like a T, right? Yeah. Well, I'm I'm doing some kind of like weird kid shit because I'm you know like 10 or 12 years old, and. Imagine hanging on the T part, right? Mm-hmm. And swinging down and racking yourself on the on the on the beam. The beam yeah. that's holding the T. The solid, that's, the solid, the solid beam. With your solid, nuts. With your nuts. Okay. That's what I did. Well, and I don't think was, you're being sensitive enough. I think childbirth is probably way more painful than that. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm not trying to fucking be sensitive. I'm just Neither saying, were we. I'm just saying I never shit myself for hitting myself in the balls. And I'm saying that that's pretty fucking horrific. I'm, yeah. I'm no, dude, no, 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 one, no one's disagreeing with you, Matt. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I think my most embarrassing one. Was no, I was playing. Nick is because he doesn't know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying he doesn't have any balls? No, I'm just saying you haven't been a co-pilot. You haven't been in the shit. Oh, the, yeah. You're like, you're yeah, like that's true. what the hell? Hey, what my, the my, fuck my, did my, I just my, see? My wife I'm had never C-sections. Gonna see this. So. I don't want to look never... down someplace that brings so much pleasure and see a face. Okay, so then Jack and Nick <laughs> <laughs> never heard what you said there. And I did not even... What... 
<laughs> I have no fucking idea what you said, so it's... Go ahead and repeat it, Nick. <laughs> no, she got to rewind and listen to that gold. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so... <laughs> it wasn't a joke at you, Matt. No, it was great. It was a... I'm good. That's great. <laughs> He's showing it again. <laughs> no, I was going to say my most embarrassing uh, uh, where I got hit was I was playing co-ed softball. I ran up to catch the ball. It bounced up, but didn't come up all the way. Went under my glove and hit me, and I was out. I was out. It, Were you unconscious? No, I mean, I was just like, it's co ed. It's like, if there's people there. It was like, so were they laughing at you? Oh, yeah. They're all going to laugh laughing. at you. <laughs> They're laughing. I, I would have been, you know, to be fair, I'd have been laughing too if it happened to someone else, but it didn't. It happened to me. And I was just like, oh my God, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. And you know, you're how you're, it's like giving birth. I think I shit myself too. <laughs> but and, and the worst part was Nick. After I shit myself, Nick said, "I don't want to go to where it gives me the most pleasure and see a face." <laughs> Thanks for repeating that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, that, this was a different. It was, I'm me yeah. shitting, so I'm kind of saying. You know. By the way, they don't come out face first. Just FYI, they head out. So <laughs> there's another head in there. It's not yours. <laughs> so anyway. So, wow. Good stuff. <laughs> so, uh, so, anything, you anything the else? Listeners, you, the listeners anything? on Facebook, go ahead. Make a poll. Hitting, getting hit in the nuts. Not Nose again, hair. It's, again, it's it's not kidney just stone. getting hit in the nuts. It's that surprise. Getting stoned. Thing. Getting stoned. No, kidney stone. So, so kidney. some have said, and again, I can't speak, speak for either of the situations, but some have said that the actual act of passing a kidney stone um, is probably the closest comparison to childbirth that a man would feel. Right. I remember. Uh, no, I, I can remember when uh, Al Swerdgen had to pass a kidney stone. It was bad. I, th I think we need to have like like solid testimony from someone who's passed a kidney stone and given childbirth. Things you can't compare them because you know pain is so relative to the. Person. Oh, they give you that pain scale in the doctor's office. Well, it's it's like, like zero to ten, and then the ten number is like sad face. Right. Okay. <laughs> Can I give you some <laughs> a, a tip? I always say it's a ten because if you don't. You'll be sitting in the emergency room for 15 hours. Oh, yeah. That happened when I got hit with the uh, puck in the face. Mm -hmm. And I, I said, no, it's about two or three right now. And my face is swelling up. So eight hours later, I go, you know, when you asked me if it was two or three, seven, I, said, I, said three. No. I go, now it's a now it's a 10. I go, I'm in so much fucking so, pain now. Mm -hmm. And they go, oh, we can't sew you up. Can't sew you up because it took too long. I go, well, it didn't take me too long. Anyway, always say it's a 10. Yep. Did they give you an epidural? No. From, from the waist up. Uh, Sh Sherry says, I've done both, and childbirth was a lot oh. more. What? Wait, wait. Is she we have again? legitimate Matt, 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 confirmation wait, wait. on Matt, this again, show. Again, no, no one is comparing against it. Like, oh. we're just, uh, I just said it was potentially the closest thing a man will experience. I, I thought she was talking about getting hit in the balls. No, <laughs> you, you said it was the same thing, Chris. No, dude. I, you dude, clearly you are, hate you are women. You're getting wildly defensive. Me? Yes. I'm just you were saying that I'm trying to be sensitive here. I'm just we were talking well, about no, pain. No, 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 one, no one was downplaying the pain of childbirth. That one person did. What? Before huh? when you were saying we're we're trying to compare against the pain of childbirth, Ooh. that one person was going against the pain of childbirth. Um no epidural or medication. Wow. Yikes. Wow. That's... Did you, Sherry, did they give you a piece of wood to ch bite down on? Yeah, the thing? <laughs> you know how Savage. these, uh, you know how in the Civil War, how they, you know, used to Hear the leather or cut something. off your leg. Here, bite on this. Oh, can you imagine? Got it. <gasps> nope. I'd pass out. I almost passed out not being the one involved. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Where what was your like first or second that you passed out? I almost passed out after the first. Okay. It was one of those moments where it's like 
Hey, honey, so, look. Oh, my so God. They, so, so they had to take, they had so, to take care of you and not and not your wife. Is that what they say? <laughs> yeah, so, this, get, is, get this is a ice. classic. <laughs> Give an ice pack. <laughs> so, so, Chris, that happened with me with the second, because the second was a surprise. We didn't know it was a boy or girl. And so I was, you know, I mean, we had a girl, so I was kind of like, uh, if we have a boy, then we're kind of like, we got the set. We're done, right? You're the family. <laughs> You're the white picket fe- fence family. Fuck you. We do have a white picket fence, okay? Stay the <laughs> fuck off of, of, like, Google and stop Googling my house, man. Um, you you sent me pictures. It's, it's and a burial there. mound in the backyard. Yeah. <laughs> Randy says, but did, did shit. Door. Randy says, but did Chris shit his pants? No, no, I, 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 I did not. Indeed, you know, I, I found out. I found out that it was a boy, and I was, I was kind of overwhelmed with this, like, like emotion, kinda, like, yeah, emotion. I was, I was emotional, and so the, the nurse was like, "Oh, we need to get Dad some orange juice here because I was going to pass out." Yeah. <laughs> so. Maxwell uh, says, just last week I was attempting gymnastics on my daughter's horizontal bar and landed on the bar square on my seed. <laughs> no. Fell down, got up, and immediately fainted. No, oh, that is that is <laughs> I and immediately fainted. You, you don't see women fainting for giving birth, right? Am I right? Oh, stop, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you want to get canceled like fucker Carlson? Go ahead. Hey, hey, I'm just. At I'm first, just, we were not downplaying the pain of childbirth. Now we were just talking like about men is. pain, and then you. Yeah, we, I okay. <laughs> we didn't clarify that it was men pain. I didn't. I didn't. You we, just we said were, what is ne- the worst None of pain. us have ever experienced childbirth, so how the hell could we talk about? I, that? I've had, I've had some dumps. I've had some dumps where I'm giving birth. I mean, it, I guess it, I it guess just I'm just being out. trans. I'm, I'm pro trans. Here, no, you, you just know? created an argument from nothing. <laughs> well, I'm going to create another argument out of nothing. When are we ending this show? Well, I wanted to, you said, I said my wife had C sections. So the first one, we knew it was a girl. We knew all this stuff. But it was funny because there's a, I'm filming it. I actually videotaped the, I didn't know what I was going to see when I walked in. I'm like going, oh, Oh, you know, she's cut open and it's, I'm like, and there you go. Oh, no, fuck, no. The the laser, they're still, I go, am I supposed to be seeing this? And they go, yeah, it's normal. I said, okay. And so, so what happened is they're trying to get our daughter out and they, whatever they have, the suction thing slips off and they punch the other doctor. (laughs) Oh, shit. He goes, bam, his head snaps back. You weren't supposed to see that. (laughs) Yeah. And they go, I I go, and I go, and Cindy looks at me because she has a, Divider, she can't see. You know, obviously, they don't want to see her. And I, and they go. Uh, I, I go. I can see it, but she can't see it. Anyway, so she, she go looks at me. I go. It must be normal because they're laughing. They, it must be. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Now, the second time, the, the when I said we didn't know what we were gonna have, and so I was like stressing because I knew what I was gonna see. I mean, I'm like, I'm like, I'm pacing. I'm like sweating. I'm. Just, I, You're I, like, I, I know this doctor is gonna get punched out. <laughs> I didn't know. It's, it's funny. They pull it out and we, everyone telling us, oh, you're going to have a boy. You're going to have a boy. You're going to have a boy. Oh. You're going to have a boy. Everyone's saying boy, 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 boy. They, they pull her out and they say, they go, it's a girl. Complete silence. It's like, <laughs> what? Because <laughs> when, sure. when they pulled her out, I thought, I seriously, because the way the cord was and everything. Yeah. A boy. Oh, another girl. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks. No, we're good. <laughs> You sure there's not like it's not mine. I'm, I don't, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, can, can we have a I, we, I, I, I don't even know this broad. <laughs> What's it, 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 it's, are there any baby boys in there that people don't want? Maybe they want a girl, I want a boy. Can there, we switch them around? Is, there that, another is that one possible? in there? Is there a, maybe you left the penis inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When you're doing the laser, did you chop did you chop it up? Did you miss? Did you miss that a little bit? Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we have we really this is kinda... the worst. This is the worst <laughs> series of like, like banter I think we've ever had. By the way, some it's got it's got to be said though. People got to know <laughs> they do. It's just a the more you know kind of star coming across the screen here. Ugh. Sometimes I think that if we just started recording as soon as we 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 you know and we didn't record live, so we didn't have to see like other people's comments. Um. <laughs> Would would what would we say that would be different? You know, how would we react differently? You know, well, we did that um, for the longest time. Yeah, yeah. Um, we did. I mean, we can go. Okay. We can go. We can go back to that if you want. But I, 
Yeah, there's a lot of people. You can get a lot of hate mail. You won't be the fan favorite. Anymore. Oh, we're I up to, yeah. we're, we're up we're up to 113 subscribers now. Ooh. Oh, 113. Ooh, Ooh. yeah, well, stand strong. Can't the producer cool. get a little credit? Just a little. Oh, something, oh, we something. have an email. Okay, well, I've only got about five more minutes, so we better wrap this up. Okay, do we have an email? We do, and it's. I actually, like how Chris is looking at me like you've got five minutes. <laughs> it's from a guy in the chat right there, Maxwell Davenport. Maxwell Davenport Silver. So, just to show how much Matt is the fan favorite, I want to apologize for calling Matt Goat Boy in my last comment. <laughs> Jesus, I can't. <laughs> I forgot about this. Sorry, Maxwell. Oh, we I didn't. Was, I was. <laughs> Sometimes four twenty night. It was. We were all a little randy. Sometimes I feel that he is. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I did there. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Sometimes I feel he's so genius at podcasting that it transcends boundaries, and I just and I can just fire off comments like that. But I should watch my tone. Besides, it was sheep anyway. Uh, well, Matt, Matt let sent you know me a like. Sheep. Oh yeah, Mike. Matt sent me a art postcard a while back. Oh. And it is a true banger. Oh, definitely on my Mount Rushmore of art I own. I feel like Matt lives a double life. I do. He has children, dogs. Kidding, I'm writing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I only have one dog, uh, but I do have a double uh, life. Uh, sure. Uh, double life. And he, sa- he saves babies and dogs. And sometimes he'll have uh, to extinguish a few bad guys. Thank you, Matt, for all that you do. That's all it is. Th- thank you, Maxwell. I, I, bang, bang. That's really sweet <laughs> i don't know what to say i can't say fuck you i was a sheep you i think i called you an imbecile he he told. fucking insulated his dick like that's that's what he did was he insulated his dick with all that kindness yeah. you couldn't get mad at him what insulated my <laughs> his dick i'll call you correct himself boy. to sheep sheep boy yeah because you were you were, uh, let's face it you were rough on him but that's okay I just, I'm, I'm just shooting blanks, people. That's probably because you sound your testicles too much. Uh, <laughs> That'll happen. It, it, it severs the connection. It's yeah. like uh, when you kinko a water hose. <laughs> kinko? Just kink. I sent you. Just kink it a little bit. See what happens when it opens up again. That's like me. And me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> But Maxwell, thanks for that and making me feel good. Well, it was a pause. I mean, usually when you blast someone on air, no, no, right? for sure, you, it's, you, you it's get a, you get like... a, you get a one star review. You, yeah, you get, you get a trashy email. Sure. Not that I have any experience with that, but it has. You happened don't. You're to people I know. Stellar. So <laughs> I don't know. Any, any, anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, Matt wanted in the show because he's a part. I of well, no, I just. Uh, I mean, well, I, I can, have. You guys can keep going. I really no, the, don't the, care. The, like, the only I thing just, I had was I have, the only thing I, I had was jury duty. That's the really oh, all really? I had okay. to talk about. Well, that's what you had on your list. There's some. There's and, some. A uh, lot of good stuff coming out next week. You know, I'm looking forward to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. Apparently, the mm. people who've seen it says it's probably the best one. Really, you're gonna piss tears. Yeah, well, they said like especially because since Phase Four has been such a shit show, so it's probably the best thing since since Endgame. So uh, huh, I saw good. the first one. I never saw the second one. Second one's not as good, in my opinion, as the first because the first is it was kind of came out of nowhere. You know, it had a lot of good humor and songs. Ooh, gala, gala, and see, gala, I mean, gala, Two has gala. definitely got a lot of good stuff in it. I the thing about Two is I didn't want to see Kirk Russell be the bad guy, mm. and I hate seeing Kirk Russell ever be a bad guy. So it's like. Yeah. Uh, uh, Snake Plipkin. Well, Snake the, Snake. Yeah. Uh, I guess, is he is he the bad guy there? Yes. Is Snake get, the bad guy? Mm. Yeah. I say Adrian Barbeau is the bad guy, right? Yeah. Or the president himself is the bad guy. Yeah. Donald Ple- Donald Pleasant is the Donald bad guy. Pleasant. Well, he was guy. definitely like Blofeld. So there we go. Ergo. He could he he couldn't es- he couldn't escape uh in the Great Escape, and he couldn't escape is. Uh, Right, he couldn't escape the wheelchair when James Bond dumped him in a like a smokestack. Boom, you're dead. That's right, yeah. 
I, I can't remember what James Bond movie was that, that was in, but it was the opening to a James Bond movie. They just kill Blofeld off like that. Like, fuck this bad guy. We're just done. Well, that's what should happen, right? Sure. Next week. Uh, let's see. Uh, very predictable. Uh, Will Fry said, second one had a very predictable plot. Like, I figured it out in 20 minutes and while drunk. Boom. Drunk. Nailed it. There's, still, like there's still a lot of good humor in it. Especially with and Rocket. Nick, you're leaving us for like two weeks, right? Well, no, I, I yeah, I definitely will miss next week, but I should be back on the tenth, which is Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's so, only one week you're missing. Yeah, I'm missing one week. So I won't be back here until like one or two PM on Wednesday. So I'll probably if we want a podcast on Wednesday, I'll probably jet lag and delusional. <laughs> but uh, let's let's perfect. do Wednesday then. I can't do Wednesday because I got Survivor. Oh, oh yeah. so it'll be, well, yeah, it'll be the Thursday, the eleventh, then I guess then we'll have to figure it out. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably figure it out in the chat there, but... and in our texting. You haven't had a. When was the last time you had a fucking song? I, I didn't because I wasn't here last week. I had one. Just, the week. Was, the last episode coach, I was on, I had a song. Wasn't there a coach. John Lennon song that you did? Yeah, I did. Uh, last one? Six I months I did, ago, I did, I did "Crippled Inside," and then maybe that's the one that I remember. Yeah, but I did one after that. Remember. Remember, I remembered a song back in the day. I'm not a crook. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> so, no, this, there's some patrons that make this show possible. Like, what have they done? That's right. I did Bowie. That's it. I did. Uh, I, 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 if the patrons you did making... Bowie? Fuck. Like, remember like, I did, did Young you Americans? Blow them off? Oh, that's like, right. That's yeah. right. It was, no. it was Bowie. Yeah, yeah, okay. I did Young Americans. Yeah. Chris you did the Young Americans. Good. Yeah. Good. Young American. Anyway, uh, <laughs> if if should we thank the patrons on this show? Because yeah, this, sure. On, on this episode, I'm just what? saying. What? Why wouldn't we thank them? I'm just saying because people said it was a shit show. So what? Or is that just was I playing in my mind? What? <laughs> what? <was a> shit <laughs> show? what? <laughs> I don't know. I just I'm just fucking around. Uh, thanks for playing along. Uh, let's see. Uh, where'd Matt go? Can I end the show without Matt here? I think Matt said peace. I'm out. I think so. All right. Uh, you know, at this time, what makes this show possible is the patrons. It could not go on without the patrons. Seriously. Sure. It could not go on without patrons. We're trying to get Nick to quit his job because he's making so much money here. Mm. <laughs> yeah. On the RCAD up to 113 subscribers. We're still looking for that 114 subscribers. Nice job, producer Jack. Thank you. Thank you. It's gone up a lot since, you know, what's his name? Um, <laughs> Jesus, John. <laughs> I can't read the chat anymore. Anyway, oh. if you'd like to become a patron, go to jjack.com. Help us out there. But at this time, we're going to thank Eckhart Richter Gloppler, Maggie the Magnificent, Joanne with the plan, and Ed the creepy poopy letter carrier. Thanks for what you're doing. Thanks for everyone who listens to us. All that fun stuff. If you want to send us an email, send it to RCAD after dark. RCAD cast. At, at RCAD email. cat at gmail.com. Thank you. Uh, RCAD cast at gmail.com. And at this time, we're going to say great show, kids. One in a million. I have to say that. Oh, Matt's here now. He can say it. He unmutes himself. Yes, he has to unmute himself. But uh wait, you didn't end the show? Jesus. I like, did. Is wait, wait, still you fucking just... here? Or what We're waiting for you to say uh, great show, kids, one in a million. It's like a, it's like you Ferris Bueller. Yeah, yeah we don't end it till you say go, it. Go go home. There's nothing more here. I got gummies in my one million. Great show, kids. One in a million. Are you Hasta luego. Serious? And you goodbye. Really we're, we're, yeah. Oh. oh, Will, that's mean. <laughs> See the cool damn. ones next week. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs>